You're now viewing a copy of the Bourbon A District 53 Work Habits Rubric for grades 4 through 8. If you teach in grades K through 3, you should refer to the K3 document. But you can see here at the top you have your, your three criteria, behavior and citizenship, homework and preparation and productivity, and a brief description of those three categories. And down in the lower level, more importantly, you have the uh, narratives or the performance descriptors for the three areas for the three levels of three, two, and one. If you notice, there is not an exceeds category that we have in the achievement side, so it's simply one, two, three, uh, with the thought that these are just uh, these are behaviors that we expect everybody to perform regularly, and we didn't want to spend a lot of time trying to determine the difference between a three and a four. It's important you note here that there is a clear description for what is required for a three, two, or one. Uh, and it's important, uh, again, in terms of feedback and teacher clarity that these are posted uh, and these are discussed with your students on a regular basis so that they are fully aware of what the expectations are. I would also strongly encourage that if you assign homework, uh, that you post that homework ahead of time in Skyward with a description. Uh, that way you're providing clear feedback uh, uh, and expectations to parents so that when they see a score uh, that they'll be tied to specific expectations in Skyward. So that's strongly recommended. And then in that description you make it clear what that assignment is, not just a generic homework. When scoring homework, so when you're taking uh, scores for events and turning them into a final grade, or in the case of grades 6 through 8, where you have to each week have to determine eligibility. Uh, because the work habits criteria, we expect the students to perform uh, at a three level every week because this is these are just basic expected behaviors. It's not a learning progression here. Uh, so when you're scoring those and looking at uh, a final score for the week or uh, eventually a score for the term, uh, we don't go by the um, most recent evidence criteria, this is more of a composite. So you're looking for an overall score that reflects their work in this area for the entire term, uh, not necessarily the most recent uh, activity. Uh, if, you're not, if you're struggling with that, you might consider going with the mode, uh, which would be um, the number that occurs the most. So if in the sequence of nine scores you had six scores that were a three, uh, you know that would be the suggested score that they get a three. That's just a recommendation, but again, you're looking at more of a composite as opposed to most recent uh, evidence uh, because we don't want a student to be uh, well below for six weeks and then turn it on for three weeks and get a three. So uh, it definitely functions differently from uh, our achievement, and it would be a good idea to talk to your mentor or an administrator if you're not sure about that.